How's it going, Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about flashing firmware to our Pixel device. So, um, where do you get firmware from, right? Right here. And I'll give you a link to this. You'll see this below the video. Um, basically, you just want to go over here to Factory Images, and then come over here and pick your device, and then pick your uh, Android version slash firmware build number. So, I'm going to do the latest. It's always best to do that anyway. So I download this guy right here, okay? So once you get the firmware image on your computer, mine is right here, I put it in my, you know, phone lab repair folder system, so keep organized, right? Google, Pixel, XL, Marlin, which is the code name, and there it is. So once you open it up with 7-zip, um, you can extract it. Actually, that's funny that it's, oh yeah, that's why. Because it's actually, this is the actual image. So once you open it there, you can click that, you can extract it, which I've already done to here. Now you got this file, and this is what you've got, okay? This does require that the um, Android SDK and ADB and Fastboot are set up in your command line correctly and in your file path, or else it won't work. But what you're gonna use, since we're on Windows, so you can also do this on Linux or um, Mac with the uh, this one, the flashall.sh, or, um, or you can do, even do the flash um, flashbase.sh. So there's a couple things you can do here to like flash the device with um, Windows or not Windows, Linux or Mac. But since we're on Windows, we have to use a batch file. So let's see what the batch file actually says. So here is the batch file. And this is what it's actually doing. Okay. So it's referencing fastboot and it's flashing with these commands, flash bootloader, the bootloader image. It's rebooting the bootloader. It's waiting to see the bootloader be re re rebooted. It's flashing the radios or the modem, um, and then it's rebooting the bootloader again and waiting, and then it's flashing the uh, image zip, okay? You can see the name of it right there. That's really all that this does. It just automates it for you. And the image zip is this guy right here, right? And, and inside the image zip, what it flashes is all these different things. See? Boot, system, system other, vendor. Make sense? Okay, cool. So, that being said, let's go to the device and put it into bootloader mode. So on the device, we're just gonna go ahead and hold volume down and then hold power until it uh, boots up into bootloader mode. There it is, we're in bootloader mode. Let me go ahead and connect this thing to my computer. So bootloader or fast boot mode, some people call it that too. Plug it in. Now, to use this firmware restore, you only can do this with an unlocked bootloader. If you do not have an unlocked bootloader, you need to do an ADB sideload to restore a device. We've done a previous video, you can see that higher up in this section. Okay, so we are connected. Um, if you want to test to make sure that everything is functioning in fast boot, you can open up a command window and type fast boot devices and just prove that you know your drivers are working, everything's connected, it's communicating over fast boot, which it is. So from here, all we're going to do is we're going to double click the batch file. So let's go ahead and do this. There you go. You can see what it's doing and sending the bootloader currently. And then it's going to, yep, flashing active slot A. And then what it should do is it should reboot as the script had shown. So there's the reboot. And then it's going to go ahead and flash the radios to slot A. And then the reboot. So you see how this is going so far. Yep. And then now we're going to go ahead and it's doing the um, other. We got we got the um, boot A right there. And it says Archive does not contain all these informations, which is interesting. Um, extracting system image. So now it's it's doing that um, fast boot with W update. Um, uh, and that image and extracting all those. So what's interesting about that is the fast boot with W or, or minus W, the W in that command is actually a way to wipe data factory set device. Just flagging it with the minus W um, does that. So kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this down and I'll show you what I mean here. Right here, see this minus W? That tells Fastboot to also wipe data factory set the device. So that's that's what I'm trying to show you. That's what I want to make sure you understood. 
so we're just going to let it keep going. Right now it's doing system image and it, it's, it's taken and sparsed the system image into smaller chunks so that it can flash um, it can flash those smaller pieces because system image is generally a really big file and it doesn't do good to push all of it to the device at one time. So it's basically brought it down into four pieces and then it's flashed it. So it's doing that right now all to system A and then now it's doing system other and now it's also doing system uh, B because now, I don't know if you guys know this, but like I said, these things have both um, boot, boot image slot A and B and system slot A and B. And what they do with that is that allows them to do seamless updates. They can update system B in the background while you're running system A, and then when you reboot, it reboots to system B, and you don't even see an update process happen, which is pretty cool. So the device is rebooting. You can see it still does have an unlocked bootloader, but this does completely factory reset and restore the device, and the script is done. So look, it's pretty awesome. You didn't even have to do anything when it comes to uh, doing any script stuff on there. Also, I'm going to note right here, again, erase user data, right? That was done because of that minus W in the script. You can actually remove the minus W out of the script and edit the script if you want. So, for example, if you went in here and you, and you just did this, right? Yep, just like that. And you hit save, save. Now, that script no longer wipes user data on the device, okay? So, kind of a nice little tip to have there as well. Um, there you go. You can see devices on the setup screen and we are actually completely done here on the computer and you have restored firmware to your unlocked bootloader device and it is 100% stock now. At this point, um, if you wanted to like relock the bootloader, you could do that and maybe we'll do that thing here next in the next couple videos and show you how to do that as well. But you'll have a restored device with stock firmware from Google on your unlocked bootloader pixel. That's going to be how to do it. It's going to how it's going to work on all the pixels. So, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.